Good day everyone. We will discuss about a scenario where always on availability group database is a not synchronizing status. Let's get started. I'll be using this particular environment for this video. We have three replicas, JBS AG1, JBS AG2, and JBS AG3. JBS AG1 and JBS AG2, which are uh, configured using synchronous commit or placed in a region East US, and JBS AG3, which is configured using asynchronous commit, is basically on Korea Central region. We have a uh, database called JBS Wiki that is added to an availability group called JBS AG, and uh, the listener for this uh, availability group is JBS APP. The whole setup is basically utilizing an underlying cluster called JBS Wiki cluster. So as far as this setup is concerned, JBS AG1 is the primary replica. So let's uh, log into JBS AG1 and then uh, let's uh, look at um, uh, the database uh, status here. And what I'm able to see is like uh, the availability group database JBS Wiki is synchronized. So that is something uh, good. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to look at um, uh, the availability group dashboard here. Yeah. So if I look at the availability group dashboard, what I'm able to see is like um, the synchronous secondary JBS AG2 is uh, having an error. It, uh, the synchronization state is not synchronizing. So let's refresh JBS AG2 and see if we are able to connect to it. We are able to connect to uh, JBS AG2 without any issues. But if you look at the synchronization status for this uh, availability group database JBS Wiki, it is showing as not synchronizing. But if you see here for JBS AG3, which is an asynchronous uh, secondary, uh, there is no issues there. Let's refresh that one as well. And then let's look at the uh, availability group database status there as well. And uh, it should be synchronizing because it's an asynchronous replica. So if you see, yeah. Um, uh, the status of this uh, database is synchronizing and we don't have any issues here. Yep. So if you look at um, the availability databases, uh, it should be all good. Yep. So the, uh, it seems good. But on the other hand, if you look at JBS AG2 here, which is your synchronous uh, secondary replica, we have an error here. Yep. So we are able to connect to it. There is no issues at all. But uh, the problem is like we are not able to um, have always on synchronization working between JBS AG1 and JBS AG2. So what I'm going to do now is like I'm going to execute this particular uh, DMV query, which basically is going to um, uh, join sys.dm underscore hadr underscore availability underscore replica underscore states with uh, sys.availability replicas. And I'm going to check if there are any connection errors. Yeah. So let's execute that. And what I'm seeing here is like everything seems to be good. It basically tells like it is all um, uh, the it is connected. Uh, there is no issues. Now let's look at JBS AG2. That is where we have an error. And if you see here, uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting an error. It basically tells like it is disconnected, but uh, I don't see any errors here. So let's execute it one more time, but I don't see any errors at all. Yeah, so let's click on uh, JBS Wiki is not accessible. So yeah, so I'm uh, executing JBS on JBS AG2, but I'm not getting uh, any details per se. It is basically telling like it is disconnected. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the uh, uh, error log uh, on JBS AG1, which is your primary replica. And then let's look at JBS AG2. So what I'm seeing is like uh, we are able to see that we are getting this error, which basically tells like uh, seeding is canceled for JBS Wiki. Reason is 108. That's what I'm seeing. But other than that, I'm not able to see anything here. So let's scroll up and then let's look at if we have anything else which basically tells uh, or points us to some error. Now if we go above, what I'm seeing is like there is a uh, uh, connection error. It basically tells like a connection for availability group. Uh, from OK, let's look at this one. Uh, if we see here. 
a connection for availability group for availability replica JBS AG1 with this ID to JBS AG3 with ID has been successfully established. So we know that JBS AG3 it is all good and uh, that is what we are seeing in the SQL Server log as well. So let's look at uh, something else. If we have something else, uh, connection for availability group to JBS AG2 with replica ID. Okay, this one also seems to be good. Basically, tells like it is able to um, successfully establish the connection. So that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is like I'm going to connect to the secondary and then let's see what is uh, there on JBS AG2. So connected to JBS AG2. If you see here, I'm connected to JBS AG2. Let's look at it here. So what I'm seeing is like uh, Okay, here what I'm able to see is like we are able to see there is a connection error. So it basically tells that a connection timeout has occurred while attempting to establish a connection to availability replica JBS AG1 with this ID, either a networking or firewall. So it basically tells like uh, a connection to JBS AG1 is failing uh, when you query JBS AG2. That's what you're able, you're seeing here. But we don't see anything else. Let's look at it further. And uh, everything else seems to be okay because uh, our SQL Server got restarted. Uh, everything else seems okay, but definitely we have a connection error. So this is what is creating the problem. It is trying to connect to uh, the primary replica JBS AG1, but not able to do it. But what we are able to see is like, we have no issues as far as connecting to any of these instances. If you look at JBS AG1, you're able to connect and JBS AG2 also we are able to connect. So, um, there might be something else that is uh, causing this issue, but if you see here, it is definitely having a problem. The database is like uh, uh, not synchronizing um, and we are getting this particular error message here. Yep. And uh, uh, let's uh, execute this um, TMV one more time and we don't see any error here as well. Yep. So let's connect to JBS AG3 and then execute this. We know that there is no error in JBS AG3, so, but we will try it out and see if you are able to uh, get anything there. It is basically telling like it is connected, so we don't have any issue on JBS AG3. JBS AG2, it basically tells like it is disconnected, but we don't see any message. Okay, now we have a message. So if you see here, basically tells like an error occurred while receiving data 10054 an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host so this is the error that we are getting so it basically tells like uh, uh, an existing connection was um, uh, forcibly closed so what i'm going to do now i'm going to perform a telnet to the always on porch and then see uh, if you are uh, able to Telnet properly to uh, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. Yeah, let's try that. I'm going to open a Windows PowerShell admin. So let's do a Telnet JBS AG2 and then uh, the port is 5022, always on availability group port is 5022. Let's look at it once just to make sure we have not changed to something else. So if you see here, the port is 5022. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try uh, doing a telnet to see if 5022 is open. Okay, it basically tells like uh, the term telnet is um, 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 not recognized. So that means like we have not um, installed that particular thing. So what I'm going to do now, I'm basically going to um, um, kind of install uh, this telnet feature and then try running this query. So the command is install Windows feature name telnet client. Yeah, so let's do that. 
So let's wait for it to complete and then we will issue the same command to see if uh, the telnet works fine as res y022 port is concerned on JBS AG2 is um, there. And uh, in case if it uh, completes, then uh, it should be a different issue. But in case if, uh, uh, if it is not completing, then we will uh, uh, work on it further. So let me execute this query. It is trying to connect. Let's wait for it to either fail or to complete. Let's wait for it. <laughs> okay, it basically tells like uh, connecting uh, to JBS AG2 could not open connection to host. So it is not able to connect to it. So now what we'll do, we'll try a connection to um, uh, JBS AG3. We know that JBS AG3 is working fine. So let's see if it is going through. Okay. Okay, we tried JBS AG2 one more time. Uh, let me press, okay. I need, need to wait for it, I guess. Let me open another PowerShell in the meantime. Telnet JBS AG3 5022. If you see here, uh, it is all working fine as far as uh, JBS AG3 is concerned. So that means 5022 port is not open on um, uh, JBS AG2 server. So now what we'll do, we will try opening that. For that, you need to go to um, firewall. This is a lab machine, so I'm uh, doing it directly, but uh, as far as the production server is concerned, you will have to basically talk to uh, your um, um, uh, platforms team or the networking team, and they will be able to do it for you. Yep. So, but uh, since it is an, um, a lab machine, I'm going to do that myself. So I'm going to add this 5022 here, and then let me do it on um, uh, here as well. So. Basically, what you can do is like you just need to right click here, click on a new rule, and then you need to select port, click on next. So, going to be a TCP port, so I'm going to select TCP and then click on next, and then allow connection, and all default, and then you can give it as 5022 if you see here i already have a rule so i've added it but in case if you want to add it uh, newly then you can use this particular uh, uh, method yep but uh, since i have another uh, uh, rule which basically is called aon underscore ports i've added there here as well you can do it here uh, because it's uh, always on availability group and it's 1433 is your sql server port so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing here as well. Yep. So we'll click on ports, click on next, and then add 5022. Click on next. Allow the connection. And then uh, name it as AON underscore 5022. Again, this is a test server, so I'm doing it. In case uh, you have the same problem on a production server or on... Uh, a different server that is uh, taken care as far as the group policies and things are concerned, it is better you contact your platforms team or your uh, um, uh, networking team and then request them to whitelist this particular port and they will be able to do it the right way. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, try a telnet again and see if I'm able to uh, uh, get into it. So telnet... JBS AG2 5022. This time I'm able to um, resolve it without any issue. So now I'm going to check it. And if you see the availability group, now we are able to see everything is green. And uh, the database, uh, always on availability group database, is uh, no longer having an error. It is synchronized. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.